Hi you guys, it's Marcy. I know it's been forever since I've been on. Um, today's October 9th, 2015. It's been three months. I apologize. I've just been crazy busy with life and kids and family and everything in between. So, um, but I'm here. I haven't forgotten about you guys. Um, I'm going to get to answering some of the questions I've seen. But let's start off with my stats. Okay, um, so I had VSG surgery on March 20th, 2015. My starting weight was 208, and the day of surgery I was 201.2. Um, in my last video, let's see, I think it was my three-month video, um, I was down, I think, 47 pounds, and now I'm six and a half months post-op. Um, which my, let's see, my seven month date will be October 20th. So six and a half months post-op, today I weighed in at 141.8. So I've not only met um, my 150, which was my starting goal, but now I'm almost into the 140s, which is amazing to me. I am down a total of 66.2 pounds. So I'm really pleased with that. I never thought it would be possible. Um, as far as I'm feeling, I feel great. Um, I kind of feel, I definitely feel thinner um, just in everything I do. Painting my toes, clipping my toenails, um, just everything. Bending over, picking up the house, cleaning the house. I mean, I have so much... Just everything is so much easier to do without carrying all of that extra weight. Um, okay, so in my last video, I said that I was 5'4", because somebody had asked me. So, my entire life, I thought I was 5'4". Well, turns out my husband and my 16-year-old put me up against the wall because they said... My husband said, you've, you're not 5'4", you've never been 5'4". And no kidding, they measured me, I was 5'2". So, my entire life I thought I was 5'4". Big awakening, I'm 5'2". So, that changes like everything. So, okay, I thought I'd share that. So, and then along with, at 208, so before my surgery, I wore a pant size 16. I wore shirts that were either extra large or size zero or one, depending on the type of shirt at a plus size store. And then my bra was a 38D. And today, um, I did go shopping, so I have some things that fit. I am, my pant size is a size eight, which I'm really happy with. Now, when after, an hour or so of wearing them. They are baggy in the um, butt and leg area, but they still fit perfect on my stomach. So anyways, I won't go to a size six until it fits comfortably on my waist or well, my stomach area. So anyways, pants size eight. My shirts are now a medium. Same with my undershirts. I am buying mediums now instead of extra large. Um, my bras, just say bye-bye to your boobies because they kind of disappear. Now, a year ago, I had a breast reduction. So, October of 2014, my breasts were a 38G, as in goddamn big, way too big. They were a G, so I had a reduction to a D, and um, so I was a D at the time I had my VSG surgery. And today I am a 36C. They're kind of disappearing. But that's okay. I'm, you know, it's better than having saggy. I'm glad I did it. Even though I'm smaller now, I'm still glad I did it. So just say bye to your boobs if you have boobs because they're going to be just there kind of flat and jiggly and whatever so anyway so other than that um life is good i feel great i have a lot of energy i'm eating whatever i feel like the hair loss i know i had probably three months of 
hair loss and it was ridiculous. I mean, tons and tons of hair. I have lost most of my hair. I used to be able to wrap a hair tie around it maybe twice if I was lucky and now I wrap it four times and anyways, it's, it's a lot. That's four times with putting it up in a crazy bun. So I have lost a lot of hair. I have a lot of new hair growing in. Um, so I've been wearing my hair up a lot because I have curly hair and so when I straighten it, every time I straighten it, I lose hair and so I've just been wearing it up to avoid losing more hair than what's falling out on its own. So as far as my vitamins, I'm still taking my bariatric vitamins. I am still having Dr. Pepper whenever I want it. Um, and again, it's all very small. I am still eating very small amounts. I got, to give you an example, I ordered a, um, a chicken taco from Filiberto's and you know, they're like this big. Um, I was able to eat half of it and I was extremely full. Um, had I had had a drink with that, I wouldn't have been able to eat half of it, but I really wanted the taco. So I ate half and it was perfect. If I have an ice cream cone or ice cream, it's literally one scoop and that's all my tummy can hold, which is great because you can eat what you want. Um, and it's just very small portions. So it's very controlled after you have the surgery and I love it. I'm so glad I did it. Anybody who's thinking about doing it or wondering, it's a life-changing surgery. Um, there are good and bad that come with it. Like the hair loss, I was getting I was getting worried. I was losing a lot of hair. I can now um, see my scalp where before you couldn't. I had so much hair. Um, I was never able to see my scalp. And now, you know, I was experiencing sunburn where my hair was parted. And that had never happened before because of the amount of hair I had. So there, that was the downside to me. Now on the others, you know, in the flabby skin, um, you kind of like if you can see this, like it just, Anyway, so I may, I mean, I know I need to exercise, so, and I know that you can tone your arms. So things like that, I will do eventually. I'm just not there yet. Um, I'm a busy mom. I have, you know, my oldest is home. He does school at home, and I have a little one at home with me all day long, and I watch my niece um, three or four times a week, depending. So I just stay really busy, and um, I haven't made time to exercise because honestly I haven't wanted to. Um, but as far as my weight goes, I am happy where I'm at, but I'm still losing. Like I hadn't weighed in probably two weeks and I still lost, I think three pounds over the two week mark. So I don't know when the weight loss starts or stops, but I'm still slowly losing. Um, so I'm hoping that I mean, I never thought I'd be in the 150s and here I am in the 140s and now, you know, I don't want to get, I think 130 is where I would like to stay, um, but we'll see. I mean, I don't know if I'm done losing weight or not, but I don't think I am because last time, you know, I've lost another two pounds, but I'm not trying, so that's the weird thing, not weird, I mean, we did the surgery so we would eat less and, you know, be able to control. But, um, so that's that. Other than that, I feel really good. I'm really pleased with the results. Like I said, I never would have guessed, um, that I would be in the 140s. It's very exciting. So, I mean, I have collarbones. Look at these. Never had those before, well, since high school. So it feels really good. Um, you know, people have noticed, and here's the other thing. Some people will not say anything at all. And I think it's because they know you had surgery. So um, I had a comment, oh, you just cheated, you know. That came from somebody who diets all the time and has for years. And they didn't mean it in a hurtful way, but 
you know, it's like, you have no idea what I went through. Don't call me a cheater because I had surgery. You know, I went to my doctor and made sure that it was a healthy surgery choice for me. And, you know, I'm no longer on high blood pressure medicine. I feel great. I have way more energy than I've ever had. So be prepared for the negativity that comes along with having this type of surgery. Um, my dad has been a huge supporter for my mom and I. Um, we haven't taken measurements in a long time because my mom is in Brazil for forever. Um, she won't be home till December. But she, um, anyways, he is like our biggest fan, him and my husband. So they think we're doing amazing. We look amazing. Um, anyways, so that is, it boosts our morale, our self-esteem, our confidence, things like that. But don't rely, I mean, because... Half of my family hasn't said anything, which is fine. Um, but it's just, it's just kind of funny. Um, because you don't know what they're thinking or, anyways, I just try not, I don't worry about it. But, um, anyways, my mom and I, we support each other a lot through this. Um, and that's what's important as long as you have your immediate family the ones you see every day who are there to help you through it and do things like that, motivate you when you need it, or my husband financially for paying for the clothes, things like that. So anyways, I had someone comment about my hair, about the color of it. It's my natural color. Um, all three of my babies have that I've bared have red hair as well, so it is naturally red. Um, can't buy it in a box, but anyways, the other thing, um, somebody, I noticed a comment asked where I get, got my little mini, um, tube stackers for protein shakes, and that was found online, um, it's, what's it, Blender Bottle is the company, and I can't remember the name of it, but if you go to Blender Bottle and just do a search, Go to their website they will have those available to you I haven't used those since surgery but um, I've just been buying the pre-made protein shakes they're just easier to grab because um, I'm on the go a lot so I tend to buy the pre-made ones from Costco more so than but I did use that during anyways the first few months of my surgery so anyways that's my six and a half month update again um, life is crazy busy. I mean, I, the little ones are in the hallway. I can, they're going to come in any minute. I just know it. But anyway, so I hope everyone's doing well who has had the surgery. Thank you to those of you who are watching my videos. Um, I will, I will try and post when I can. Definitely sooner than three and a half months out. Um, anyways, I'll, I'm I know I promised to do it once a month. I thought I could do that. I'm going to try a little bit harder, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.